How about that for take? my favourites, my all time favourites. It's pin fry time, it's middle of June, the fish are all over the top after these massive, massive shoals of pin fry. See the boat and off they go. There are fish all around me. Hope you can see these pin fry feeders. I'm fishing dry flies for them, which may sound crazy, but it's the way to get them with these special pin fry dries. fish are always travelling upwind so you've got to cast up upwind of where you last saw the fish. Oh, some big fish here. Here's one, first of the day. Just took the CDC pin fry. And he's not happy with me at all. They are so fit, these fish. Feeding heavily on pin fry, full of protein and nutrition. They're so powerful when you get them on. It's already done 360 degrees of the boat. There's some more coming here, look. Look at those down there, just downwind. Upwind, even. This is its second revolution of the boat. <laughs> oh, what fun. I don't think it's even that big, it's just very fit. There it goes. Sits it down beautifully. Yeah, lovely fish. Silvered up rainbow. Oop. I can get the net. Beautiful. It's a barbless fly, so that should probably be already out in the net. Yeah, stuck in the net. Look at that, he's still fighting in the net. It's only about two pounds. Let me show the, the camera. Look at that, that fought like a mad thing. It's not even that big, just very fit. And there's a load of fish I've just seen coming my way. Look at those. Hopefully this camera's picking up the nervous water that's right ahead of us, which is a sure sign of feeding fish. Get the Amadou patch on there, dry that out. Hopefully it'll be good for another fish or two. So it's Needs replacing. 
bit of flash, bit of pearl, bit of red, CDC. Get that back on these fish. I'm drying the fly out by the way doing this. I'm not doing a million false casts for no reason. Cover that one there. Oh, you probably saw that. There's a little trick to getting these fish, and that is if they don't, if they just swirl at the fly. The trick is just pull the line and sink it, sink the fly, and that often induces the fish to take the fly just under. And when you when they do take it, they properly slam it. So you've got to make sure you're not pointing your rod straight down the line, otherwise you'll end up being smashed. Look at this one coming here. Wow, amazing. They really push some water ahead of them as they take these fish, the small um, pin fry just under the surface. You don't get everyone. Oh, that one took it beautifully. There he is. Just sipped it in quietly as anything. This one's not going as nuts as the last one. Oh, maybe it will do. Here we go. <laughs> Just realised it's not happy. Oh, that's a good one. That's a very nice fish. Beautiful. Look at these more fish coming upwind. They always seem to come upwind and wheel back round again and come round for another go. Oh, beautiful fish. Looks like a three pound plus fish, maybe even four pounds. There he is, not happy at all, but he's going back. Come to me, thank you. That's the way to do it. What fun. There he is. That's a great big fish. Yep. There you go. That was stuck in the cartilage of his tongue, even though it's barbless, it was stuck well in. Now, see if we can have a look at this fella. Come on, just pose for the camera and then we'll get you back. That's a four pound fish all day long. Absolutely glorious. Back he goes. I'm driving up into Barnhill Creek now, having spotted quite a few fish up in the top of the bay. You can probably see them. Topping all over the place. Some people find these fish hard to spot because they're not splashy rises. But what you're looking for is water being pushed rather than a, a rise, rather than a splash. But if you look over here, there's fish everywhere pushing water. 
so I'm going to just sneak up in here and drift. The wind's pushing out of this bay, so this is perfect to get in right at the top and drift down one of the banks. Because the fish are typically along the banks, which is where the fry are. Sometimes the fry are way out in the open water, but more often than not, you'll find them along the banks in the shallows, along the weed beds. Look at that fella there. Some big fish in here. There'll be some big fish feeding on these fry. Getting even bigger. It's like a seafood smorgasbord for them. Look at those there. What a picture. This is sometimes very frustrating when you can't get them because they are awkward fish to catch and they're on these pin fry but when they'll take these pin fry dries it's great fun a lot of sport let's see if we can get one up in here i'll be surprised if we don't this is what we've come for these fish are marauding on this on this point this is Barnhill Creek at Rutland Water absolutely marauding after pin fry oh is that for me? no oh I am right in among them here Yep, there he is. What a fabulous take. Just sipped it in. <coughs> Gorgeous take. Don't think he's massive, but these fish are so thick. Charlie to wake up in the net. Gives me flyback, mister. Thank you. Barbless comes straight out. There it is. And there he goes. Thank you. Wow. I didn't get the take on camera, but the take was spectacular. The fish took the fly and shot off. a nice one. They are being quite picky today. Mind you, they are pin fry feeders, they're always picky. What? Yeah, good fish. It's not done yet. You can see the pin fry scattering as the fish swims through them. I don't know whether the camera's picking that up, but I can see it. Yeah, that's a good three pound plus fish. Maybe not quite three pounds, but I don't think he's far off. There's a load of fish that I'm drifting onto 
I can see coming our way. So we'll get this guy back. I think the hook is yeah, it's still in his mouth. Nice and easy. Barbless, been destroyed a bit. There he goes, untouched by human hand. And here comes the next wave of fish. Look at that lot there, wow.